As in all groups of fungi, there are variations in life cycle. In this example here, the haploid zoospores, which are flagellated and modal, a characteristic of the chytrids, will germinate to produce a multicellular mycelium of hyphae, which is haploid. So this is a haploid chytrid, which then produces gametangia. Female gametangia, which produce flagellated female gametes, and male gametangia, which uh, produce smaller flagellated gametes. When male and female haploid gametes fuse, they form a diploid cell, which then germinates to produce a diploid mycelium whose hyphae are 2N and can produce sporangia. These sporangia produce the cells which undergo meiosis and produce the haploid flagellated zoospores, which can then begin the life cycle again. The modal flagellated spores of chytrids are significant, not only because it allows them to move through their aquatic habitats, but because this is an early branch of the fungi, and fungi are thought to have evolved originally in aquatic habitats.